What's up everybody, welcome to the show. This right here is another Delta Force video. We're gonna be diving into something that I think is extremely unique in extraction shooters and I think in gaming in general. So, a little bit of a background on how we found this. A few days ago, the developers sent over some assets for us to go over and it was hours of video. But one thing I was very interested in was the systems. Basically everything at the menu, everything at your hideout, building, loadouts, all kinds of stuff. Upgrading your hideout, different stuff like that. I wanted to see, you know, the operators, all that type of stuff, and kind of just see what the point is of their extraction mode. We stumbled across a bunch of cool shit, like calibrating your weapons and attachments, sway patterns with, with holding your breath versus not holding your breath, recoil patterns, the ability to equip armor onto the target dummies, measuring everything. I mean, they have all the data for every little thing. We saw things like barter items or skins that you can loot in game. So looting, you know, the example that we, we saw in real time was binoculars for some, for some type of M4 skin that you could barter for. So they're taking it a step further in that regard with the loot from a looter shooter and letting you get cosmetics with it. You know, we started to get a little turned off when we saw a bunch of different microtransaction opportunities from buying skins, battle passes, operator skins, all kinds of different stuff. There was a lot of stuff you could unlock for free, actually quite a bit, I was very impressed. But there was also a lot of opportunity to spend money, which I understand if it's a free game, you have to do it, so it's whatever. But one thing that caught my attention and I'm still geeking out about today i want to go over with you because i have not seen anything like this in gaming there might be a few games out there that do it but I, I went over this with the boys in the cc by the way make sure you join the caliber collective i got a link in the discord but we're talking about this and we're trying to translate everything in real time shout out to fleeky and basically we found first an heirloom system and i'll pull it up right here basically what you're seeing is the ability to buy a hawks case i think is what they call it some type of hawks bag chest whatever and then a key to unlock it and while we'll get into the currency and you know d different types of currency i just want to go over this real quick what you basically see is you're guaranteed the skin you're looking at after 75 rolls of this air you know it reminds me of apex like this heirloom system of you know paying to try to unlock something exclusive you know so on and so forth and i know i know that's you know repetitive we've seen that and i'm going to get into what is very different and you know kind of blows my mind about this system. The image you're looking at right here is probably the most important image in all of the systems video that they sent us. No other creator has talked about this, so I want you to pay attention right here. What you have is an active market for the skins. Buying and selling, you have market times, you have real-time transactions showing you the last transaction on June 26, 4.30 p.m. It's keeping some privacy for the user, but it's showing who bought it what time they bought it, how many they bought. Basically on the right, the screen translates to current market circulation 25, average transaction price 1432, real-time transaction records, L, whatever his name is, hangs, one Mandel brick pyramid attack skin at that time. And then under that, it's showing latest transaction records are loading. Okay, so this is speculation, guys. You know, this is, I know what I'm looking at here is, is true. This is a real image from their game but 99 percent sure and i have not been told anything i'm not partnered with them in any way i don't have any type of insider knowledge this is just coming from what they gave us at the bottom of the screen it shows how many he currently owns which is zero he can buy or sell what we believe is you can stock up on skins that you have i don't know if it's only from the heirloom system or if it's from skins that you unlocked for free if you maybe got lucky and unlock something in, the, in some one of their like little supply drop things. But with everything we see here, we believe you can auction your skins off and you can buy multiple of them if you want. Example would be a Halloween event. You happen to buy five copies of some M4 skin and then you sell it at a later date for a profit because you want to buy some Christmas skin. Again, the only examples we have right now is coming from this gold currency, which by the way, the currencies are going to be called a triangular coin. This might be lost in translation a little bit, but just kind of bear with me. It's a hard currency that can be used to, as a substitute for payment with, a, with triangular coupons. We'll get to that in a minute. And can be used to purchase goods and markets and shopping malls. I think that's just translating to stores. The bronze, currency is called a triangle coupon with delta coupon whatever they decide to name it again this is translation obtained from market transactions 
and can purchase most products in the mall we'll say store and then the last currency is basically your rubles the in-game currency that you earn by playing and selling items and things like that on the market so it seems like they have taken everything a step further from tarkov you know these other games with flea markets you know auction houses and they're adding skins to that now that is leaving opportunity for a lot of microtransactions like i said where you can go in and spend money on these coupons these these bronze tokens let's just call them you know this key here maybe one dollar or ten dollars whatever the ratio is on the top left here it translates to weekly use we believe weekly use zero of one so it might be just one key that you can use once a week to try to open one of their heirloom or hawk packs or whatever it is to try to get these you know more prestigious types of skins but it seems like they're going to have a circulating market of of different stuff to buy with microtransactions you know from top to bottom but at the same time it seems at a later date you will be able to put it up for sale and transact maybe even with each other individually trading this skin for that skin with your buddy so it kind of gave us a little more hope instead of locking people down into buying these skins and you can't do anything with them when you don't use them anymore or don't like them you can at least sell them for the in-game currency of some sort to buy others in the future or at the very least buy more of their heirloom keys and and, and packs their their hawk packs to try to you know re-roll something else that you might like I, I hope, and I haven't seen any video evidence of this, I, I hope there's a little bit of in-between with looting stuff like that. Can, can I loot stuff? Maybe maybe find rare access to skins, barter items to get really good skins, and then can I sell those? Never have, never having spent any money whatsoever. You know, obviously balance it to where it's hard to do so, but can I essentially get all of the premium prestigious skins just for playing the game and then selling them if I don't like them? or if something new comes out. I think this is a really good system, man. I think it's going to appeal to the casual player a lot. I think it's gonna be prestigious bragging rights when you kill somebody and you see the types of skins they have and you get to you know run it until you lose it and so on and so forth. And you you kind of build a character and, 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 and build an identity through the types of skins you're running on your weapons, all the while holding it like you would an asset you know, or security in the stock market and able to sell it at a certain time live live market hours for a certain price it's just like a stock market for skins man so they have it for obviously the auction house for items in the game that you loot but then like i said they took it one step further and put up an auction house it seems for the cosmetics so let me know what you think about that guys i think it's like i said i think it's pretty groundbreaking a, a really cool addition to this type of genre they're basically taking apex system even like call of duty you know grinding for skins type system but giving you more power i don't know if they're going to take transaction fees for this i didn't see anything like that but it's still a really unique idea let me know what you think in the comments if you love it you hate it let me know some of your other theories if you have them don't forget to join the cc link is in the description especially if you love tactical shooters we're going to be trying to give away as many keys as we can especially to our vips going to be playing a lot of delta force when it comes out the test is next week and if you enjoyed the video you know what to do i will catch you guys on the next one thank you